Hey guys, welcome to another commentary done by Diggity. Up right in corner, we have Arcade Plus starting as the Brown Terran. Bottom left hand corner, we have Balance starting as the White Zerg. Very manner opening from both players. This is going to be on Eclipse. So this is the lower bracket. It's a double elimination tournament, which means you have to get knocked out of the upper bracket, which is best of three. This is the lower bracket, so it's kind of the last chance portion. It is best of one. I believe each stage had a set map. Otherwise, I'm not sure how they chose the maps. Don't quote me on that. I think the upper bracket, it was set as well across the same. So basically, it was kind of mirrored. And unfortunately, the challenge bracket I'm looking at, it's kind of staggered uh, on top of their seating. Tim, I think, handled the entirety of it. Shout out to Tim as well. But anyway, point being, whoever wins here advances along the lower bracket and still live in the tournament. Whoever loses is eliminated. So it's high pressure in this stage and you really gotta be on top of your stuff. Overlord taking kind of an odd angle. You gotta be, on two player maps in particular, I feel like you gotta be very, very careful with your Overlord pathing because it opens up opportunities for Terran to be a little bit sneaky and aggressive and sneak Marines out, try to pick it off early, but uh, we'll, it's still vitally important to get that Overlord over that natural expansion edge. We'll see if Balance is able to accomplish that. Supply Depot along that back corner here for Arcade Plus, so I assume he's not going to go for a rapid expansion build more often when you're trying to go for a faster expansion build rather than uh, rather than going for more of a steady economic build. You'll see a front door seal or something along those lines or something sneaky you're going to front door seal. I'm still expecting barracks into expansion depending on what happens the opposite side. I'm ex for sure. Uh, one thing is the timing of that SCV allows for spottage of that hatchery which lets you know whether you need to build that first marine or not, depending on uh, overall timing. It looks like that drone going to be sent out along the same time just to see whether that gas has been plopped or not. Racing that Overlord, but that Overlord's so slow as it's crawling out. We have a 204 gas and spawning pool for balance, which suggests we're probably going to see two hatch mutalisk to start. SCV sidling in, seeing the gas timing. Should be expecting that. Is building the initial marine, it looks like, despite seeing the 12 hatch. So wants to make sure that that marine is out there, maybe to help deal with that drone and keep it from preventing any sort of harassment here at the natural expansion. It looks like balance, rather than trying to contend that base, upon seeing the lack of gas, seeing the single barracks, is just going to go ahead and exit out. So marine going to dash down, SCV going to take its place and get that command center up and running. In the meantime, spawning pool just finished. Not a lot of larva saved, but are we going to see initial two? We are going to see the initial two zerglings. And that SCV still active, hanging out on the front, able to see that second hatchery spawn, and also going to be able to critically see that tech delay right at the three minute mark. And so that'll be a big time indicator here for RK Plus as to when he needs to get those turrets up and how to play the game from there. SCV trying to sneak out down the ramp. Let's see if it can stay active. This is kind of the... Looks like a single Zergling. Oh, actually a lot of Zerglings produced. So Balance. Maybe going to go for... Usually when you see this number of Zerglings, you have to be a little bit more concerned about your Marines on the front door. These Marines very exposed. No bunker as of yet. Seeing that many Zerglings, I would want to see an additional bunker placed down. Barracks has been planted. And because all the supply depots and the Academy dropping here, it looks like it's going to be two racks Academy build. These four Marines, several of them could get picked off. And granted, it's not a game-ending maneuver. You don't end up losing the Marines, but that ends. you end up with fewer defenses to deal with Mutalis potentially as a follow-up. And we do see a dedication to Zergling speed as well. So Lair's going to finish. We'll see how quickly the Spire gets down alongside. The Spire dropped not too long after, but Zergling speed going to be completed in a couple ticks. And let's see if he dives in with those Zerglings to maybe pick off a Marine or two to reduce the forces that Arcade's going to have to defend against that initial Mutilus Karas. He's going to, it looks like currently sitting on two barracks, still has time, plenty of time to get that engineering bay in place. Overlord has managed to get over that topside edge and RK Plus actually moving out. The Zerglings have not yet been spotted. He wants to see whether they're Zergling speed or not. Sees the Zergling, sees Zergling speed, gives him the information he's looking for. It's gonna go ahead and back out. Looks like the third hatchery just now being grabbed by balance at that 9 o'clock location. And a second extractor has been dropped as well. And we'll see if it's a Mutalisk initial harassment switch back to Lurker. That's the standard these days. Third 
barracks being dropped alongside an engineering base. So RK plus playing a little bit more economically defend or actually no, grabbing the fourth barracks as well. So he's going to be able to produce a lot of Marines. Has a couple of medics pushing forward. We do have two drones waiting to potentially turn into Sunken Colonies. The Zerglings going for a backstab. It looks like they are going to be able to sneak into that natural expansion, get a, a tap on the SCVs, but I think that was mostly a test to say, okay, Arcade, are you in fact going to start pushing towards my natural expansion or not? The 9 o'clock currently not very well defended. One of the drones pulling off, now dropping the Sutton Colony. I wonder kind of what the line is, where they want to drop that or not. Great scouting here from Balance. Keeping an eye on that Medic Marine Ball and the Mutalisks now taking flight at very good time, right along that six minute mark. Creep Colony waiting is not yet being morphed. Some turrets now being planted alongside that barracks. Defensively, we've already got one over that command center and it looks like two in the natural expansion. So the Mutalisks, at least at these numbers, probably not going to have a lot of space to accomplish a lot, but especially with this, if they can perch and tempt the Medic Marines into that high ground location, might be able to get some damage done right there. Stimpa or range not finished, Stimpak is finished, plus one weapons is going to be a while. It looks like we do have plus one weapons upgrading for the Mutalisks. And Balance already sneaking in, trying to pick... Oh, I think he wanted a shot at that Medic. Forcing a Stim and able to dodge right back out. Nine o'clock base is up, but we do not have that gas capped as of yet. Looks like there's a Mutalisk also waiting to join this grouping. Arcade now moving out a little bit further forward. Maybe hoping to catch those Mutalisk off guard. Balance has done a really good job of keeping an eye on that army. A commsat. I think I'm trying to figure out where the commsats are planted. I'm not sure that they're in the main. Probably looking for that additional base. Mutalisk able to get a couple additional kills, but it looks like a Mutalisk got picked off as well. Nice micro here by Balance. Keep in mind this was in a, in a zero latency environment. Did the spread fire right there, not getting a lot. And now Arcade pressing forward. The Zerglings are right here alongside. And Arcade needs to be very, very careful. He's expended a, a good amount of Marines. He has only forced a single Sunken on the front. And currently, it looks like he just wants to hold that high ground plateau. Lurker tech on the way. No Hydralisks or Lurkers out as of yet. We've got 10 Mutalisks. One of them has been pecked away at, but the rest of them have mostly been untouched because Balance has played it very, very uh, carefully. Up to this stage, a factory is dropping down plus one weapons. Is along the way that's pretty good timing the zerglings have now finally gotten filtered out but they've done a pretty good job of spotting things overall and a bit of miss micro there by balance eating a lot of free damage and this overlord is exposed in open territory the mules forced to fight here and as a result one of them can be taken out now that's going to be a sacrificial overlord putting balance into the red he's got a single sunken colony that's now morphing but still that third gas has not been grabbed for balance for quite some time and that is going to potentially be costly because you need that gas to get the higher tier uh, have that gas in hand for the higher tier tech single sunken colony morph the rest not morph the mules now in being forced to engage to that natural expansion plus one weapons not finished and all of the mutalisks have basically been wiped out you've got Oh, and that's going to be GG. Very patient play from Arcade, able to clean it out early and advance in the lower bracket. Balance, unfortunately, is knocked out. But I'm hoping actually to see Balance in future seasons of BSL or the next Starcon LAN. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you for listening.